We're going to do a live interview in about a moment, if you don't mind. Okay. Is okay? Now, I'm understanding of your character in the... Um, I'm sort of um, his... The, it, basically, before there were computers, a chess champion would need to practice with someone. So I was, I'm called his second. It's like a coach, uh, someone to play tennis with who can hit the ball back. Oh, perfect. There you go. So like a sparring partner. A sparring partner, yeah. yeah. Okay, that makes sense. And he was a priest. Oh, really? Yeah. Your character's name? Um, Father Lombardi. I wear a cassock. How was that? It's interesting. It's, it's kind of liberating. You feel like you're walking around in your pajamas all day long, which I like. So you're just nice and cozy. Absolutely. Yeah. You can wear anything or nothing under that that you want to, which is an interesting thing to know about Father Lombardi <laughs> as you're watching the movie. So I'll, uh, yeah, now that I know that, yeah, exactly. that's kind of like what I talked about in the interview. Is that okay? I was just, uh, we're going to go live in about 60 seconds. Yeah, I thought that was that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Are we okay? I just Are we okay? I'm sorry. Oh my god. I am ready to photobomb, just so you know, whatever you You're need right. me to do. Oh, yes. <laughs> Who was uh, basically his sparring partner, um, a kind of coach as well. Um, it's a, he, they had played together as kids and then he became a priest. And so when he needed to go do this match, he needed someone to practice with. They didn't have the computers to, to help them. So, um, so that's who I am. And there's a little bit of uh, jealousy, obviously, built into the role. Now, there's a lot of tension between Father Lombardi, Bobby Fischer, but also the pressure between these two men that they faced back in 1972. Oh, absolutely. And I mean, that was, of course, fueled by the Cold War. And so this film is... It's about a lot of things. It's about the nature of genius. It's about this individual, but it's also about this particular period of time um, between the U.S. and and Russia, which I think is probably very interesting for today. And your uh, your your costume for Father Lombardi. Tell us about that. Oh yeah, yeah. I was very excited. I, I this was my idea actually. Um, I wore a cassock because I had had a uh, Catholic priest in high school, um, Father Sproul, who always wore a cassock. And there was something kind of magical about the outfit to me. And so when I brought it up to them, they were all very excited. So it's a kind of dress. Yeah, you know, I was just telling you, I mean, you know, it gave me a lot of options for what to wear underneath it or not wear underneath it, as, as the case may have been. All right, thank you very much. Peter, yeah, yeah. pleasure talking to you. And thank you. Taylor Kay, how are you? In your, in your downtime here in Toronto, if you had a microsecond, what would you love to do here? Oh, wow. What would I love to do? Uh, go see a hockey game. And who would you cheer for? <laughs> the St. Louis Blues. You're going like Spencer Tracy and playing a man of the cloth. What was the biggest challenge for you in playing this priest? Well, you know, I grew up around priests. I was an altar boy. I went to all boys Catholic high school. So um, trying not to seek some kind of revenge by doing a nasty portrayal was probably what, what I was really uh, trying to do. Give the guy, like, um, more than just... You know, the thing is, people think priest, or you read priest, and they think high moral values and all that kind of stuff, but I know better. Yeah. <laughs>